Welcome to a world where you can learn about real life in a setting that is alive and growing just like you are. From everyday people who may never have teaching certificates, but all have something valuable to offer. In a place where everyone is a student and everyone is a teacher. This is the One Room Schoolhouse. My name. Good morning, my friends. Good morning, Rebecca. Is everyone here today? Yes. Did we leave any friends outside doing chores? Yes. We got a smaller group today because it is Friday. That's okay. Some of our friends don't come on Fridays, right? Our friends at home, I hope you're with us. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Well, not a lot. I think it's just uh, two or three, maybe. Can you guys wave to our friends at home? It's Friday. I don't know about you guys, but I love Fridays, don't you? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Um, All righty. So, did everyone get their chores done? Yeah! We got a little bit of a late start, but um, I think we were able to get them all done, right? So, the turkeys are taken care of, the baby, the baby chicks. Yeah. Can I tell you guys a funny story? Because none of you were in there when it happened. Um, so, while some of you guys were doing the horses, collecting eggs, you guys were kind of spread out. So, I went in to see the baby chicks. And um, I was like, well, I'll go ahead and put, put some food in one of them because they were really, really hungry. <laughs> so I um, filled up the cup with the food and I poured it in there. And all, I did three cupfuls. And all of a sudden I looked down and I see this little thing moving in there. I was like, oh my goodness. I thought it was a worm. So I like kind of like, you know, the scare, like when you don't really want to see what's in there, but you, you want to see what's in there. And I like kind of like peeked over and out popped a little chick head. I had buried a chick in the food <laughs> because the chick had gotten into the food. He was so hungry. I didn't see him in there. And he was like, let me out, let me out. <laughs> I let him out, but I had to kind of help his little paw because three cups of food deep. He was like <sighs> breathing for his, uh, we're hurrying for his life to get out, right? So, anyways, I'm glad you guys do those chores because obviously, I don't know what I'm doing, do I? You guys would have never buried a chick, would you? No. <laughs> That's all right. It just means that now we know that we have to look in there before we put food in there because when they get hungry, they're going to jump in there. Okay, today is Friday. It's a beautiful day. We are going to finish our lesson on trees. We're gonna finish our nature journals and everything in there so you guys can take them home this weekend. We are going to do a little project with some, with some paint, but we aren't gonna just paint normal. Anyone know what Q-tips. these are? Q-tips. We're gonna paint with some Q-tips. We're not gonna paint inside our ears. We're gonna use them to paint with, okay? Alrighty, but first, Let's talk, well, you know what, no. First, let's do the Pledge of Allegiance and prayer, and then, we'll, and then we'll talk about a few things. Everyone stand up, face the flag. Friends at home, hopefully you can see the flag. Let me not get in front of you, sis. Oh, very nice. Everyone ready? Face the flag. Everyone face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Very nice. All righty, let's see who is going to do our morning prayer. Oh, man. You know what? Okay, hands down. We're gonna do two prayers this morning, okay? We're gonna start with Magnolia. Come on up, sister. And then we're gonna end with Ezekiel. Come on up. We are gonna do two. You can't pray enough. You can't pray too much. There's no such thing, right? Come on up, Ezekiel. So Magnolia is gonna do one, and then you're gonna do one, okay? Alrighty, everyone bow your heads at home as well. Join us for our prayer. Thank you for this day. And I hope that we all have a great rest of our day and yeah. Amen. Okay, Ezekiel. Dear God, thank you for this day. Please help us to have a great day. 
thank you for everyone in this class and the teachers and Fun with Austin and Papa Ori and Uncle Keith and everyone else. Amen. Amen. That was so sweet. You prayed for Farmer Dalton and Uncle Keith and Papa Rory. I love when you guys think of people who aren't maybe in the room, but you guys see day to day and who help you guys learn and grow and do all the things. All righty. Let's talk for a minute because it is Friday. So that means tomorrow is what? Saturday. No and we don't school. And we don't come to school, which I know you guys are so bummed about. What do you guys... Yeah. What do you guys what do you guys do on Saturdays? Raise your hand. Let's talk about some plans that we have going on this weekend. Josh. This, this Saturday we're gonna be a chili cook-off. A chili mm, chili cook-off. Who knows what a chili cook-off is? Does everyone know what it okay, some of our friends don't know what a chili cook-off. Josh, explain to all of our friends what a chili cook-off is. You're going to perform a play. And also, sometimes in a chili cook-off, a lot of different people make chili, different versions. So there's regular chili with beans and maybe hamburger meat. And then there's like white chicken chili with chicken and white beans. And then there's like a veggie uh, chili. There's all different types, spicy, not spicy. And the chili cook-offs I've been to, a lot of people cook different types. And then you go around and you try each version, right? You take a little bowl of each one and then you vote on your favorite. And then there's a winner. In case you're wondering, I've never won a chili cook-off. It's just not, cooking is just something I'm still, I'm still working on. Thank, thankfully, my husband does the cooking. Yes, Aubrey? Um, I'm going to go to a playground and my grandparents are coming in and I'm going to ride horses with my grandparents. I love it. You're going to be outdoors playing, riding horses. Yes, Aiden? So tomorrow, no school. Tomorrow is Saturday. Do we come to school on the weekends? No. 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 Yes, Louie. Well, usually me and my dad go to Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, Chuck E. Cheese. Mm -hmm. Yes, Autumn. Um, I'm going to be playing with my Mario Kart, but it has a remote control. Oh, very cool. What about you, CJ? I'm going to play with all my bells. Are you going to play outside with the horse? Are you going to ride some horses, too, with Aubrey yeah. and your grandparents? And you're going to be in the, do you guys have a tree house at your house, don't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, what's a tree house? We're studying about trees. Do tree houses just like grow on trees? No. No, no. Mackenzie. Tree, I have a tree house at home and you have to build one on a tree. You build it on the tree. So then you, I love it. What do you do? What do you normally do when you're up in a tree house? It's been a long time since I've been in a tree house. Aubrey. Oh, Aubrey's very, hold on, hold on. Yes, Aubrey, can I help you? We go down the slide. You have a slide. Okay, so, okay, let's 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 talk about this. Friends at home, if you have a tree house, let us know. Okay. How do you get up to the tree house? What's a ladder? Okay, so you climb up a ladder. A ladder or a ramp. A ladder or a ramp. Okay. I have both. And then when you're up there, are you just swinging in air? Like what what what's up there that makes it that make Louie? Uh, you can like make like a club or have so there's like a floor that you've built up there that you can stand on and have like a clubhouse. Okay. And then once you're up there, what do you normally do? Like, do you have like a secret password to get up there? Or do you just sit and chit chat? Do you draw? Yes, Indiana. Um, oh, I know you're excited. I know you're excited. Yes, Indiana. Um, when I, um, deck, so you can sleep in a tree house. Oh, that's a great idea. You can have like a camp out. And our book over there. That is her book. Okay, but hold on. We're still talking about the tree houses. So you can sleep in a tree house. Okay, and then Aubrey said to get down, she goes down a what? A slide. What are your thoughts? And maybe preferably without yelling, but you know, let me step back here. What are your thoughts on us getting a tree house at school? Yes! So that that's a no. You don't want one. I I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We have actually talked about getting a tree house. A lot of our big um, trees 
got destroyed in some of the storms, but we're gonna find a really, really good one. And then you guys, I'll talk to Papa Rory about this and Uncle Keith, but you guys can help build the schoolhouse. You guys can help design it and create it and then help build the tree. Did I say schoolhouse? Yes. Yeah. I always have schoolhouse on mine. Help build the tree house. That way it's something that we all like. It's big enough and it's exactly what we want. And also when you guys are building things, you know, because a lot of times when you walk in, the desks were here, the chalkboard's here. Like you guys are walking into something that's already here, right? Everything just appears. But there's a whole process to it. And so if you guys help create, design, build, then it becomes personal to you. And then you get, like when you're up there, you're like, ooh, I put that nail in that board or I painted that or something like that, okay? So I think that we should add that to our list, a tree house in the schoolhouse in the schoolhouse grounds, on the schoolhouse. You get what I'm saying. You think our animals would like to be up in the, in the tree house? No! You know, they, you know, they, so they can kind of, they can kind of jump pretty high. We'll see. You know, the turkeys, when we let them free range, they get into that, those gators and stuff. Did you guys see the other day when they got into the gator? Yeah. Farmer Dalton was over here and he had the gator doors open and they were like climbing in it. So. You never know with these animals what they'll do. And I think today is, did y'all let the turkeys out today or the chickens? Yeah, yeah. Turkey. It was. It's a turkey day? Oh yeah, I see them. Okay, awesome. All righty, well, we'll add that to our list. Okay, so, oh, I know, you, you can share later, okay? We're moving on from the tree house. I know you're very excited, but you got to share a lot of things today about it, okay? So we'll discuss it later. Sound good? Okay, so we are going to finish our tree discussion now pull if you went home last night and did your tree markings where you put a paper on a tree and you took a pencil and you rubbed it like that pull out your paper if you did it pull out your paper if you remembered to do your tree oh very nice very nice if you didn't that's okay that is okay but if you did, I would love to see them. I did, but I accidentally left it out right now. That's okay. That's okay. Me too, me too. Mm, that is okay. You guys can do it this weekend. So for our friends at home who weren't here yesterday afternoon, the kids took home a piece of white paper and a pencil, and they found a deciduous tree, and they put the paper against it, and they did like a marking so that the bark would come through the paper. So that's what they're getting right now. So that we can see... it. If all trees are the same, or if they all look a little different. I see some of you use colored pencil. I like it. I like it. Okay. Very nice. So some of yours. Okay, so let's talk about it. What did it feel like when you were rubbing the pencil against the paper that was on the tree? Was it bumpy? bumpy. What was bumpy about it? The bark. Oh, what does bark do? It protects the tree. So it was bumpy. So your bark, the trees weren't very smooth, were they? Did that come through on your paper? Like where it was bumpy? Yeah, because the markings look different, huh? Let me see yours, Jalen. So I can tell here it was a little bumpy because the, the marking looks like it was bumpy. I love that. Was your tree big or small? It was really big. So you just chose like a section of it. Now, who got to go back to the tree that they found two days ago to take a picture with? Who got, okay, so you went back to that tree and you did your marking? I love it. Oh, and even, oh good. And sometimes because this is, I see a little hole went through there. Cause the tree barks are bumpy, aren't they? Very nice. Now, lift up your paper. Huh, does everyone's look the same? No. No, everyone's looks different. Hey, that's, not the one. that's okay, he can show me that if he wants. Okay, I want you to face around. He I like it. Alrighty, okay, so very nice, you guys. For those who didn't do it, that's okay. You guys can go home and do it. The whole point of it, because we normally don't do any kind of homework, the whole point of these assignments while we're studying things like this, and really the whole year, is just to get outside. 
okay, just to be outside. It's beautiful weather, and we want to be able to enjoy all the thing that God gives us, okay? So just get outside after school, okay? All righty. So go ahead and pull out your pieces of paper we've been working on, your nature journal, and we are going to finish labeling our deciduous tree, and then we are going to paint one. So go ahead and get out your papers and your nature journals. Everyone should have, let me see. Everyone should have this paper and, and it should be mostly filled out because we've already labeled most of it. Um, just the marking. I got scribble happy. It's all good. Uh-oh, that's what we have our desk cubbies for, to put our papers in there so we don't lose them. That's okay. And then your nature journals, those you'll be able to take home today. Yeah. Yes, you can. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'll get some more glue in a minute. We'll, we'll make sure they're all ready before you take them home. Okay, and then your nature journal, buddy. Do you know where your journal is? It should be, if you'll sit on this side in front of your cubby, scoot over a little bit so Autumn has room. All righty. Now, what is it? Oh, look, everyone should have. Okay, you guys ready to hear? So we've talked, oh. If you're talking, no one can hear me. Okay. What are the main things we've talked about so far? We've talked about roots. What do roots do? They anchor it and bring up the water and the nutrients. Very good. And then we talked about what is on the trunk? Bark. And what does bark do? Do we have kind of like bark on us? What would be our version of bark? Okay. Our skin, yeah. our protective layer. Very good, I need you to, to settle down, please, okay, and pay attention. We don't need scissors right now, we're gonna use those later so you can put those away. Okay, let's, everyone listening? Everyone listening. Branches, both small and large, grow from the trunk and extend outward to support what do you think branches support? Autumn. What's on them? What's on, what are these? Leaves. leaves, leaves. Branches support leaves and fruits as if, if it's a fruit tree. They also transport food and water to and from leaves. Leaves are where photosynthesis takes place and where the tree's food is made. Leaves are usually green due to the chlorophyll that absorbs sunlight, therefore energizing the photosynthesis process so carbohydrates can be produced for the tree. Woo, that is a mouthful, isn't it? So branches and leaves are very important. Cowboy Danny, who, else, who saw Cowboy Danny this morning coming and say hi to us? So Cowboy Danny came up and he saw we were studying trees and he was like, Miss Rebecca, do you know the two most important, do I sound like him? Do you know the two most important things on a tree? I, I heard that. What did you, did you hear his answer? Yeah, it was leaves and branches. Oh, uh, not the branches. It was the roots and the leaves. So even though the leaves, so they, they, on these ones at least, the deciduous trees, they fall off. Those are one of the most important things on a tree because it provide, it, that's what provides the, that comes out the oxygen that we breathe, okay? So, oh, and this is what it says. Leaves also release the oxygen for us, okay? So they're very important. Okay, so these are the branches. Yesterday we labeled the trunk and the branches, okay? Let's see what else we need to label here. We have, oh, we haven't even labeled these down here. What are these called? <laughs> Roots. Everyone look on your paper and let's go ahead, if I can find my chalk, and label the roots. 
So there, you have an, a line and just label it roots. R-O-O-T-S. Okay? Now, one day we're going to be able to, to find a piece of tree that's been, that's fallen maybe and been cut. So we can then go and see the inside and tell how old a tree is. Anyone else been able to tell how old a tree is? Josh, you've seen how, how do you tell how old a tree is? The rings in it, so the inside, how, you see those rings right there? Oh. Very good, very good. So you count how many are in there and then you can tell how old it is. But we'd have to get inside the, the, the tree for that. So we'll wait till we have one. Yes, Jalen. Okay, I'll help you find it. And if not, I can get you another one. Okay, very good. So before we move on to our next thing, let's recap. We have, what are these? Roots. Roots, what do they do? They suck in water. They, yeah, they bring water, they help, yes, they do. And then what else? They anchor the tree. What is this called? The whole thing. That's What's on the outside of the trunk? Bark. bark. What does the bark do? It protects the tree, kind of like our what does for us? Our skin. Very good. What are these things up here? Branches. What do the branches support? Aiden, what do the branches support? The leaves and what else if it's a what? Fruit, hmm, like maybe some apples? Yeah, I love that would be good. Okay, now, hold on, hold on. How can you tell, if you don't know what season we're in, how can you tell what season we're in by looking at a deciduous tree? It's like, Caleb. It's like by the leaves, by the leaves, very good. What, what season are we in over here? Spring. Spring, things are starting to grow and bloom. What season are we in up here? Bright Summer. green, Summer, full and green. Alrighty, what about here? Fall. Fall, because we're starting to change colors and maybe not so many leaves. And then, wah, wah, winter, there are no what? Leaves. There are no leaves. Maybe there's a little snow depending on where you live. I don't know. Okay, very good, you guys. Woo, we have learned a lot about trees in a short amount of time, and I'm very proud of you guys. Okay, so what you guys are going to do in your journals in a little while, not right now, but I wanna go ahead and tell you so I don't forget, because you know, sometimes I forget things, right? We are gonna go outside, uh-oh. We're gonna go outside later on today. You guys are gonna take your journals and you're gonna take a pencil and we are going to go find, each one of you is gonna go find a separate tree and you guys are going to draw the tree that you find out there, okay? So we're gonna take a little walk today. We're gonna to do observations on these trees. What do they look like? How big are they? How small are they? How many leaves do they have? And we're gonna do that in our nature journal, okay? Sound good? Yes, everyone sound good? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna take that outside when we do our observation of the trees. Yes, absolutely. But for now, I think we should bring out a little bit of uh, paint. What do you guys yeah. think? Yeah. Okay. I would go ahead and clear out your area. Yeah, so you have some space. Clear out your area. But let's do it calmly, okay? Let's do it calmly. Clear out your area so you have some space. Very good. Okay. All righty, Jalen, can you pass, can you give everyone a plate, please? Give everyone a give everyone a plate. He can he can do it this time, and you can do it next time, okay? You can put it in your cubby if you want, or move it to the side. It looks great. It looks great. Those I want you guys to take home today, so that you guys can always remember the importance of. Oh, no, I'll let you know what we're doing. No worries. I never leave you hanging, do I? All righty. Well, you're not going to want to keep them after we finish with them because we're going to put paint on them. We're going to put paint on them 
to help us with our next activity. Okay, so everyone should be getting a plate. And everyone will be getting, right now, two, but I may do four so that you don't have to use both sides. Yes, sir. Yeah, one second. I'm coming around. I'm coming around and give everyone two Q-tips. There you go. You are getting them. Okay. Does everyone, he does have a plate already. Put it on there. Okay. So. We are going to do a fall version of trees, okay? So I want everyone listening up. Jalen, I think everyone has one. Thank you very much for doing that. Okay, so I want everyone listening, whole body listening, so you know what we're doing, okay? We are going to do a fall version of a tree. Now, fall version, is it just bright green? No. No. What kind of colors do you see in the fall? Purple. Purple, orange, what else? Red, yes, yes. Okay, those are the colors we are going to use. Everyone is gonna get the same colors. You guys are going to get four colors. Everyone's gonna get the same four colors, okay? So no reason to be upset over anything. I'm gonna give everyone the same amount of colors, okay? And then you guys are going to use, what do you think you're, how, what do you think you're gonna use these for? To dot the To dot what? The leaves, okay. So here is where you can decide which way you wanna go, okay? Friends at home, if you have Q-tips at home, go grab them. Hopefully you have some paint and you guys can paint along with us. I have printed out just a trunk with some branches, okay? You guys are welcome to use this and paint right on it. You guys are welcome to use this, take your Q-tip and make your leaves right on it. Or you can have white paper and you can trace so you can draw your own and you can use this as a guide. Or you don't need to use any of this. You can use your hand and you can trace your hand and this could be the trunk and these could be the branches. Or you can just freestyle and draw whatever tree, um, trunk and branches you want, okay? That is your choice. Now, the one thing I will say is, it was, it's probably better if you do it on white paper so that you can really see the colors pop through. But then later, if we want to glue them to some kind of you know, different color construction paper, we can do that. But I would recommend doing it on white just simply so you can see the fall colors really come through, okay? Yes, you have a question? Yeah, so I told you guys, you guys have options. You guys can pick whatever option you like. If you want to use one of these as a template, Raise your hand. You don't have to tell me, just raise your hand and I will come around. Piper, actually, will you go around and give everyone that has their hand raised one of those, please? Okay, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come around and give everyone the colors that I have. I thought I had yellow. I may have yellow over here. I do, okay. So everyone's gonna get yellow, or who knows how to say yellow in Spanish? Amarillo. Amarillo. You're also gonna get red, also known as rojo. You're gonna get, this one's always hard, orange. Naranja. Naranja. And you're also gonna get yellow. Amarillo. Did I say them all? Oh no, purple. How do you say purple? That one's, that one's sometimes hard too. Oh no, try again. Morado. Morado, okay. Everyone, and since we're using Q-tips, you don't really need that much. Um, okay. Now, everyone's getting a paint. There's no need to um, ask for it. Everyone's getting it, okay. Very good. Okay, if you, cho if you chose not to use, the tree trunk and branches as a template. Tell me what you are going to paint on. Do you want white, just a white piece of blank paper? Yes. yes? Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Do you need to go get it, sister? Okay, you can go get it. All right. So everyone has morado. 
That one got a little messy. I'm going to use a blanket and paper. Okay, paper. Oh, now, uh-oh. Why don't you get your paper, have a seat. Hey, my friends, I want you guys to sit down, please. Everyone sit down now that you have that. You're getting rojo now. You're getting rojo. Rojo. Very good. I'm excited to see what you guys create because everyone's will look different. I would recommend if you have long sleeves, go ahead and just roll those up. Or you can take them off, whatever you like, if you have the option. Whoa. All righty, everyone has rojo. What's next? Amarillo. Yellow. Just a little dry paint there, it's all good. Uh-oh. I want you to sit down on your bottom, please. Yes. Amarillo. What's your favorite color on a fall tree? Since no one is saying it in Spanish, I no entiendo. Rojo. I like it. Amarillo. Oh, hold on. I haven't given you all your color, sister. Hold on. I want everyone to wait so we can all start together. Okay. And next is anaranjado or naranjado to make it a little easier. Okay. My kind of favorite, just because I... Hello. Do you want to join your friends? Okay. My favorite color is morado simply because you don't really see much, much morado on the... Whoa. Well, like this is chunky paint, ain't it? Why did he not want to come on? Come, come to Caleb, come to Caleb. <laughs> well. I'll get him another one. And it's not a toothpick, what is it? <laughs> a Q-tip. A Q-tip. <laughs> I've never heard anyone. I've never heard it called uh, ear pick. Uh oh, this orange might not be the best orange. Whoa, there we go. Oh, CJ, an ear pick. All right. Uh oh, you gotta keep it intact. You don't want to pull the stuff off, or you won't be able to pull the paint your leaves. Okay. All right. Now, Josh, what are you gonna paint on, buddy? You want? A white, just a white plain paper? No. You have one? Lou, Louie, you want a, a plain white paper? Okay. Does any, hold on, hold on. Does anyone other than Louie need a plain white piece of paper? Plenty, because all we're using is a Q-tip. One second, how do you get my attention? What's the best way to get my attention? That's right. Okay. Oh, I just gave you maybe an extra. It's all right. Yes, do you have a question? We're not gonna do green. We're just gonna do these four colors, okay? All righty, does everyone know what you're doing? Does anyone have any questions before you begin? Everyone? Everyone know what they're doing? Okay, I want everyone on their bottoms. I want your feet in front of you. I want you taking your time. I want you doing your best work, whatever that is for you. And I want you to go slowly. Really think about the colors you are using. Think about the trees. Okay, we're not in a hurry. We're not in a rush. Enjoy painting. And you can begin. And I'm going to paint one myself. Everyone will get two more Q-tips and that's all, okay? So you have one for color.
them. We don't have all of them here, but you guys can make it work. the holidays just because of the holiday spirit um, but I love fall I lo that's beautiful I love that I love that so we'll have to take a walk today and hopefully find some really good trees that we can document and then we'll remember what if we remember the trees that we're documenting today and then in the winter, we go back to those trees and document what's happening then so we can follow the process, which could be, does that sound good? Yeah, I think it sounds like a, yeah. That's what we can do. You're mixing yellow and what? Oh, amarillo. All together. I might. That's what it looks like at your house? That's great, buddy. I might make all the leaves join together. Uh oh, where's your tree? Oh, I love it. And you're creating some, some leaves that have fallen on the ground. That's beautiful, Josh. That's a great idea because they're not always all on the tree, are they? Who likes to um, jump in a pile of leaves? But then you gotta rake them up again, right? Do you guys help your parents rake the leaves? No. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, maybe I will have to add that to the chore list around here. You guys. Oh wow. Hey, can you go sit down, buddy, and tell me from your seat? Thanks, bud. I'll give you a little bit more. Can you sit down on your bottom though and give it your friend some space? Thank you. You need red, you need rojo. Oh, oh. Let's remember, friends, that we are indoors, so we don't need to yell. We don't need to yell. It's a pretty small room. It looks like candy. <laughs> you guys love talking about candy since we never get to eat it in here, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like your leaves. Very nice. I love it. I love it. Very nice. I'm gonna, let me see, buddy. That's great. It looks like the wind, the wind is blowing and your leaves are blowing everywhere. Very nice. Can I roll up your sleeves for you? Okay, yeah, I'll get some, that's a good idea. What gummies? Vitamin, ooh, vitamins are very important. Vitamins are very. Do you? 
thankfully, they've created, you know, before there was like adult, when you got to be an adult, you had to take like these hard vitamins that you had to swallow, but now they've made gummy vitamins for adults too. So I take gummies every day too, and they're delicious. Put it in your plate. Oh. I like it. Uh-uh, that's his paper. Do you need one? Okay, yeah. Let's make sure we're only painting on our own paper. If you finish with this one and you want to do a different tree on a white paper, you can, but make sure you move your tree to the side so it dries. That's beautiful, Mackenzie. Do you want a white piece of paper, Mackenzie? Well, baby, listen, listen, people, listen. Baby wipes are called baby wipes. They need to call them something else because I use them all the time. They clean up all the messes, so they're not just for babies. They're not just, oh boy. Um, I think you need more than a paper towel. Are you done painting? Okay, why don't you go wash your hands, buddy? Messes are fun, I love them. It means that you're doing something right. Do you want to you want to do it again on the okay? I can have a seat. I think you are gonna need some more paint. Well, make sure you use the the Q-tips. I don't have enough to give everyone four more, so let's try to use what you do have. But I will give you some more paint, okay? Um, you need some more colors. <laughs> Miss Becca makes a mess too. I'll give you guys all a white paper. I'm just trying to clean my hands off so I don't get your trees, so I don't help you create your trees. Okay, Aubrey. Very nice. Okay, and then you need some more paint. I think we're gonna work with what we got, okay? Woo! Good job, see? I knew it would come off. I almost squirted Aubrey in full morado on her shirt. I love that you guys are being so creative. Anyone else need a white piece of paper to do another tree? Uh-oh. Make sure we're careful with our paper. Sorry, that might have been me. I, I know it was an accident. I'm so sorry. I think the wind when I was walking blew it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Um, hopefully our friends at home are able to um, draw or paint their own um, trees. And you guys are able to enjoy this craft with us. If you have, please, of course, we love, love, love seeing the pictures that you do. We'll post um, pictures of what we're doing here once everything dries. We'll get on there and post our fall trees, okay? But in the meantime, I hope you guys have a great uh, Friday, a great weekend. We are gonna continue painting and doing our tree crafts, and um, we'll see you guys Monday. Thanks for joining, and have a great weekend. Bye. Bye. Okay. All righty, does anyone else need a white piece of paper while I'm up here? These are challenging times for children and for parents everywhere. Remember that school doesn't just have to be in a building with teachers and desks. School can and should happen everywhere. This program is made possible thanks to the generous support from the Dottie Frist Foundation, the Happy Davis Foundation, Heart Utilities, and viewers like you.